How you drink the car? Man, this thing is sweet. <laughs> Very nice. You guys are gonna have a great trip with this car, man. This is great. So, so nice. So good. So yeah, so thank good. you so much for letting me take it for a Yeah, no problem. And off road. Yeah. Even better. Yeah. Hey, this is Next Meridian. We are Nick and Mathilde, and we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender, Albatros. Three years, seven continents, 88 countries, and just the road as a home. First impression of Victoria? Super nice. It's clean, pretty. This is exciting. This episode feels like a giant reunion with friends of ours. The special climate and location of Vancouver Island and Vancouver, between ocean and mountains, have attracted a lot of people from all over the world. From all those people, we actually have a few friends in the area. Some we didn't see in 18 years, some we didn't see in 5 years, some we didn't see since 6 months, and some we only met virtually. So these little houses, like this one, they're private residences. People actually live here. So cool. So cool. Paying interest. And then there was a service fee of five bucks. Seaplanes, terminal. Since we arrived in uh, Vancouver Island, I kept like seeing like seaplanes about to land, about to take off. So I was like, Technic, I wanna see one, I wanna see one. And now we, we heard one at the other side of the harbor and we run before it takes off. But they're actually not taking off, they're just like floating away and I think they take off on the other side. But it's still very cool. And look, there's another one starting. Yeah, Harbor Air it's called. So nice, they're so cool, so cool. This weekend we have two hosts. One is Casper from uh, Britain, whom I haven't seen for 20 years, maybe 18, 18 years. And we were in middle school together in China, and I haven't talked to him since, but Facebook, I saw him in Canada, I wrote to him a month ago, he's like, yeah, I'm in Vancouver Island. So I told him we're coming. And uh, since we lived in Belgium for a really long time, we found him a delirium beer, which is awesome. And then uh, we have a second host, which is um, uh, Eric, who's from Vancouver Island, he's Canadian, and he wrote to us two years ago before we even started the trip, while we were still in the planning phase during COVID, and he says, when you come over to Canada, you have to come to Vancouver Island, and you must uh, come with us, we have a boat, we have a cabin, everything, you guys can hang out, and so we're bringing him a white wine from our region, and uh, it's going to be a great weekend. So far, we really liked Victoria. Um, on Vancouver Island, really sweet. And on top of it, we have created just now a little list of the countries we would like to live in one day. The cities we would like to live in. Cities, yeah, cities. And Victoria has gotten onto that list. And anyway, we have still two years and a half, maybe three years to keep adding on the list. But Victoria, super cool, super clean. Time to move on and go see our first friend of the week, Casper. We're on Casper Street right now, 500 meters away from his uh, house. So now we're sort of looking where it is. I'm super excited to see him and uh, that's it. 18 years is a lot. I'm sure it will take us five minutes to get cozy again to each other and we have a lot of catching up to do. Told us if you hear a dog. There's a dog? He has a dog? You're in the right place. Maybe in the garden, no? Hello? Hello? 
<laughs> Casper is a British Canadian architect who grew up in China. He speaks fluent Mandarin. He moved to Vancouver Island just before the COVID. He kept telling us here there's a lot of opportunities for young people who want to work. And he's super happy he moved in the area. He adopted Sunny, his dog, two years ago, and the two showed us around the south of Vancouver Island. Uh, it's, yeah, Mapo Dofu. It's like a spicy Sichuan tofu. Dang, look at that. Casper has yeah. some Chinese. Vegetarian and not vegetarian. Yeah. Perfect, look at that. Thanks, Casper. Thanks, Casper. Looks awesome. And we're gonna go join our neighbors upstairs. Our neighbors? His neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you've got your own little vegetarian bowl. Mm, it's tofu. Wow, a little tofu spicy. And Casper and I got all this with all the neighbors. We went with Casper and his dog Sunny to the beach this morning very early and we can see in front up the Mount Olympus in the States. So beautiful. Soon enough it was time to say goodbye to Casper and move to see other friends. This time it's not a long-term friendship but some people we have actually never seen. But we've been in contact with them since the very beginning of our Instagram account. Our car was not ready, we had not left for the tour and we still lived in Belgium. But Eric and Jess had already invited us. For two years we exchanged regularly. And finally, two years later, we got to meet on the very special island of Salt Spring. We're now on Salt Spring Island. Uh, we were invited by somebody who has contacted us two years ago on Facebook saying, hey, when you get to Salt Spring Island, be my uh, guest. So, as we got here, he told us that they're doing this Apple Festival uh, tour. What it looks like is we arrive from here with the boat and there's all these farms that we have to go and see and just check out their farms and if we want buy wine and grapes. So we're gonna find Eric and his family somewhere on this tour and we're trying to catch up to him so we're gonna go now we're visiting the orchards it's beautiful the apple trees and it is really cool out here in between two apples we eventually found them and their little family and what an amazing bunch we had the most amazing stay with them and the beautiful twins Addison and Lindsay Mm. Are you gonna roast marshmallow? I'm, I'm gonna watch. Thing. You're gonna watch. Yeah. So it's the first time we're gonna do s'mores, and they're using <laughs> digestive chocolate cookies okay. ah. <laughs> with marshmallows. That's a trick, right? And this. Trick. This, this is a trick. trick. This is a trick. Sure. That's a trick. Yeah. Awesome. So Maybe we'll see how they're made. More. 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 Uh, then you just slowly rotate, folks. There is a trick to roasting marshmallows, though. Yeah, hey, we are looking. Perfect slowly rotation. Rotate. Golden brown finish. Mmm. Yes, Over it has to be. lump charcoal, it's going to be Ooh, the best. So good. And this I usually is... put mine straight in. They get, yeah, get catch yeah, fire. Catch fire <laughs> then I blow in it and eat it. <laughs> it's like Faster. charcoal. Oh, yeah, it's true. Remember what but I it's... said though? Everything that takes time is better. <laughs> is better. Yeah, I don't know if it's like melted enough. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. Absolutely. You got to take that, flip it on top, give it a squish. It might be hot. Okay, watch your hands. It's probably blazing hot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my goodness. I love what I'm seeing. <laughs> there you go. Have a it. bite? Uh, yeah, yeah, one sec. <laughs> one sec, she said. Well, then I can just, you know, enjoy the moment. Oh, oh man. Man. Mm. <laughs> Is it melting on the side? Oh, yeah. no. oh. <laughs> mm. Ooh, look at that. Everything about this thing is terribly wrong and right at the same time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, so, so ridiculous. Thanks a lot, guys. This looks like uh, a lot of fun. We slept in this room last night. Super comfortable bed. Ah, so good. And 
look at this crazy big nice window and last night we had clear sky like this and we had all the stars it was perfect <sighs> thanks eric and um jess this is super cool the two girls are awesome as well and we had such a great time thank you so much so guys it's not if we will meet it's where and when we will meet again so The next two days were just absolute leisure. Salt Spring is to Canada what the Mediterranean coast is to France. Olive trees, vineyards, orchards, everything is organic and grown on the island with such a special climate in this country. And our hosts had the most amazing tastes. We ate like kings. Especially when the two seven years old twin decided to go crab fishing from the beach. These ones are quite tricky because they actually can reach back really quite far. Okay. But yeah, usually just a thumb to the back. And then you gotta watch the top too because these guys have quite a big reach. Um, that's, a, that's called a red rock. Um, it's beautiful. Red rock. You can also hold them like this. You gotta be careful their legs can break off. So red rock crab. Uh, this is legal one, you could eat this one. About that. So the legal size for Dungeness would be from this point to this point for me is my finger span, which is kind of handy. I have a built-in crab measure. <laughs> um, <laughs> this one here is actually quite a bit bigger than its legal requirement. The, kilo. the girls found uh, this red rock crab, which technically is the legal size that you're allowed to take them and you need a license. And Eric does have a license. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is bring him home we gave him the name Krabby, well the girls did, and No, his cook name him. is Rocky. 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 Oh, okay, it's Rocky. Krabby Rocky or something. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he's beautiful, isn't he? Poppy <laughs> versus Krabby! No, don't, please don't play me, <laughs> Of course, I almost forgot to introduce Poppy, the pet duck. Just a normal farm duck that ended up being part of the family. And guess who's with us all the time? Poppy. She goes everywhere. She's part of the family. She's the third kid going everywhere. <laughs> this is so cool. Do you guys want a duck as well? She's, if she's standing, stand. And then I just go like this, like you're getting a pizza out of the oven. That's one option, or you can do like, or you do the cheeseburger, which is you come up behind and you just grab it like a cheeseburger. Yeah, I love the, all the culinary like metaphors the color. in town now. I'm so How you drink the car? Man, this thing is sweet. <laughs> Very nice. You awesome. guys are gonna have a great trip with this car, man. This is great. So, so, so nice. good. So yeah. I am Look so fired up. I'm buying one. <laughs> so I'm buying this one. <laughs> you already one. have one. Huh? You already have I one. Want Comfortable one. You want a new comfortable one? Oh yeah, and your clutch is way different than mine. Really? Yeah, way different. Wait, it comes like quicker or? Oh, it feels light. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. But it's the same. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it feels like springy. And so quiet. Of course you guys can drive around the world <laughs> in this thing. Because yours is really bad? Oh, we could barely hear each other right now. Really? We are parked here in front of Jessica's and Eric's store, Wee! Salt. Let's go in. And we're gonna go in. Awesome. Okay. Let's find out what you have, all the good goodies and the good secrets. Goodies. Sweet. Oh, salty. And we get to come in even when it's closed. Look at that. Oh, OG. Oh, they have mini t-shirts. Wow. <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> Hey Mathilde, what is that you're wearing? We got some gifts. You got some gifts? The sold shop of Jessica. And it's so soft. And nice. it's warm. Let's see. And it's so nice. Cool. So you're going with the white one with the long whoops with the long yeah. white jacket. Cool. And I'm going with the green shirt from uh, from Salt. So thanks a lot, Jessica. You're this welcome. is awesome. Shout out to Jessica. Thank you. <laughs> Did you just recruit somebody to fold my clothes? Yeah, I'm not sure it's legal. I don't know the legal age in Canada. That's cool though. If she consents to working, it's fine. Yeah. She, do she does it well. 
Right? You enjoy foiling the clothes? <laughs> Do you feel like you're gonna be the one leaving with Mathilde now? Yeah. That's cool. We're living together. <laughs> I am living on a jet plane. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. To Everybody. new friends. New, new friends. friends and to new adventures. Yes. Yeah. Addison, interested in the cheers? <laughs> All the great things must come to an end. And we are not done with our friends tour, so let's keep going. We're at Long Harbor Terminal on Salt Spring Island. Um, we woke up at 4.30 a.m. this morning and left at 5 from Jess's and Eric's place. It was amazing spending those 48 hours with you, Jess's and Eric, and you're like amazing people. You're like, live your passion. So thank you so much, you two, for having us, and let's go to mainland! I guess welcome to Vancouver! Like, the port appeared like at the last... Yo! The port appeared at the last minute, the fog was so thick, it's insane, really crazy. Today is a special day for me because I'm going to see one of my best friends from boarding school, she lives in Vancouver and we're going to spend the weekend with her, so I'm really looking forward. Yeah, it's going to be awesome and we're going to leave then on monday and today is friday so it's gonna be a full four days and i also get to see one of my friends who lived in belgium and moved to uh vancouver so we're gonna have a full weekend full of friends and celebrities plus monday is what is it monday thanksgiving the canadian thanksgiving. thanks canadian thanksgiving did you say friends and celebrities friends and celebrations uh, <laughs> uh yeah <laughs> In Vancouver, we stayed at Mike's and Alice's. She is French Swiss and he's from the UK. And they both moved to Vancouver four years ago. Alize and I were in the same bedroom at boarding school for two years. Bottom line, she's my sister. And I actually brought a little something she gifted to me 12 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> These donuts, we have two raspberry jellies, two honey gla honey dips, which are like their like specialty. We have a chocolate cake and a pumpkin. Talking bullshit. It's hard to see. Thank you. This is mixed vegetable. What did you get? Uh, some cereal and cheers. Cheers. We spent the next days with our other friend Justin and Robin from Belgium, who moved to Vancouver six months before, about at the same time when we left for the world tour. When we tell you that Vancouver is attracting a lot of people. We eventually finished the weekend celebrating Canadian Thanksgiving with all this little group and their friends. And to the question, what are you most grateful for? We could only respond, being able to reconnect with all our friends dispatched around the world and to be able to connect with all those new friends we make along the way. Yeah, funny, huh? Weird. It's a weird feeling to, to 
to be spending some time with friends like this and all of a sudden you come back to reality which is our reality of our home is a car and we have to keep moving and visiting the world but at the same time you're like I just left my friends it's such a weird yeah but it's cool it was awesome really fun yeah awesome guys it was great spending the three days in Vancouver and now we're heading to Seattle uh, so it's our first border, big border crossing in the Americas we look forward to seeing where it's going to be no one? there seems to be nobody at the border yeah that's cool maybe they have more time to like empty the car then we made it to the USA! It was super easy at the border. The, they didn't want to see the car or anything. They just checked the passport. That's the only thing they looked, about, uh, they looked at. Also because we already had the stamps from Alaska, so they didn't have to check again the ESTA or anything. But there was no one. They asked no question and didn't check anything. Welcome to the USA! Welcome to the USA! Woo! Woo! That's it for this week. And you know what? We now are in the United States of America. A new country for new adventures. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss the rest of the world tour. Ciao, ciao! And we had such a great time. Thank you so much. And it's not a where, when will we meet? It's more of a where we will, will. And guys, it's not when we will meet, but where we will meet. So guys, it's not if we will meet, it's where and when we will meet again. So, 